エルが隠し撮りされる危険はエルが誰かと恋仲であれば減るのよね。What's going on, YouTube? My name is Vitamin D. Still, welcome back to some King Coy. This is episode 36. If you've not seen the previous episode, go ahead and watch it. Now, what I'm going to do is get started into this video. Well, I do think that's true for the general public. Putting sketchy paparazzi and their jobs aside, any unsolicited pics from an average citizen were a prank and nothing more. You could probably get away with taking a random photo of her out in public, but prying into her private life was simply out of the question. And worse yet, there was no shortage of self defined creeps who would go out of their way to invade someone's privacy and upload their findings to social media. Then there were the sort of low lifes who could come out of the woodwork to take photos because something was scandalous, but this development may thin out their numbers. という状況は理想的じゃない？なるほど。Yeah, she had a point. だから二人には結婚してほしいの。飛びすぎです。ですがそこまでの話は一理ありますね。Airhead number two. フェンシングの試合の日まで、ゴールとエルチンには恋人になってもらう。Interesting, interesting. Pretend, that is. Pretend lovers. Oh, that was still an awfully high hurdle to clear. What do you want to do, other son? Why? That sounds awful. Sounds like a cult. This is 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 a cult. Of course not. So just ignore what Sylvie said for a sec. We'll pretend to be lovers until the day of your competition, and that's it. Are you okay with that? I didn't mind. I wanted to resolve this secret picture taking nonsense. If it worked out in Ellison's favor, then I was all for it. Lovers with Ellison. Even if we didn't take it that far, it'd make me happy if it meant we could improve on our existing relationship. You know what? This is very interesting. Didn't we see something like this, a little something similar to this back in San r a b a n c a I forgot which route it was. It might have been Mako's, but there was also like a pretend thing like this that happened. Interesting. Interesting. That was how, in a relatively uneventful way, my bizarre relationship with Ellison began. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't like what she laughs like that. When I glanced over at Sylvie, I could tell she was up to no good and scheming something or other. You know, this is the scheme, at least part of it. Pretend lovers. I've said this before, but no. She loves me, but I guess that's not right either. Never mind. Forget I said anything. If it were up to me, nah, not really. Oh, Hime Sama desura, so no set in your Aragaena. Ha ha. Yo no naka de Zango deana. Chinamini toko ni diu a naiga. Orewa kyonuzuka zain soko kara och de hoshi to motel. Diu a naiga. Could you be possibly saying that because you don't have some biddies yourself, Rhea? To tell you the truth, I'm pretty sick of dealing with all these misunderstandings that keep popping up lately. Ah, so. Rhea was no fool, so she should be able to understand where I was coming from so long as I opened up to her about it. How so? It was all strange if you asked me, but I couldn't tell what part she meant specifically. The whole thing, buddy. You don't need a part in specific, the entire thing. I tilted my head and. Yeah, she suggested it out of nowhere and. Right? It would have been fine if we were pretending to be a couple, but. Oh. Well, that was mean. Hmm. Ah, Rio had a point. It was weird. 
and only then he barely realized. Sylvie never ordered anyone around, especially not Elisan or those black suited guards of hers. Once the order was given, they would follow and obey their princess without question. To the knights who served her, there wasn't a duty, but an honor. It would bring them great shame should they fail to carry out, carry, carry out their mission, and it wasn't unheard of for people in the position to take their own limbs as punishment, or worse. That's pretty hardcore. Knowing that, Sobi avoided issuing direct orders unless it involved some big, exaggerated joke. What kind of joke? Tell me, tell me more. Oh, excuse me. It is bizarre. Girl quickly brushed the subject off. <laughs> you really do think a lot about Sobi, don't you? You should just go see her. She'd welcome you with open arms, some kun. So <laughs> Okay, or not. We ran off so Makun ran off on top of the water tank. Maybe I'd gone too far. I better call it No, definitely not. Compared to what she said to you or about you, bro? Nah, nah definitely not. I better call it quits while I was ahead. Even after she found out they were childhood friends, Rio was strangely adamant about keeping her distance from Sylvia. Yeah, and in most routes so far she's been weird. Like even in Sylvia's, although they did find connection later on she was still very weird about it at first i like to think she had a good reason for avoiding sylvie following her enrollment and i knew there was no reason for me to pry but if nothing else it didn't sound like Rhea hated sylvie that alone made me happy yay we're all happy with that i headed back to my dorm room ah yes i love this song the vibes it carries what should i do for dinner Ah, what was the smell, cream stew? My hopes were shattered when I realized the smell wasn't coming from the cafeteria. Did that mean someone was making it for themselves? Dang it! Maybe I should make some cream stew for myself. Cream. Consomme. Wait, how did that recipe go again? Oh well, I didn't really want to bother making it, so I was probably going to order takeout again. Later, back at the dorm... I, I just I just had a feeling she was going to be in there. You know why? She's probably going to be the one cooking. The one making that delicious tasting sounding, I mean, delicious thingy that's... Okay, huh? Nice to see you too. Why was she here? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> it's so goofy, bro. Man. <laughs> What's going on? Certainly wasn't expecting this. Beep, beep, boop. <laughs> Straight to the phone, he said. Okay. I respect that. <laughs> she's such a weirdo. Like, she's nice and everything, and she's great. She's a sweet person, but she's kind of weird. Okay, that's enough of that. Anyway, I'm calling about Elsa. She is a big nag. Big nag. I know that. And I'm magnanimous enough to accept her, but what's all this living together nonsense? Oh, don't give me that. After speaking with your employer, she's retracted all this living together business. Please head home. <laughs> you just kicked her out. Other <laughs> son, you really shouldn't obey every order Sylvie gives you. It's weird as heck. As long as we were on the subject. Now that the initial shock of her arrival had died down, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was... different. I realized the wonderful room of cream still had caught a whiff of outside was coming from this very room. Which meant... Putting the living together stuff aside for a sec? Is it okay if I eat that? I pointed at a lightly simmering pot. The smart induction cooking pot looked like it was about to burst. Uh, Oh, yeah. Love a woman that can cook. Food makes me very happy. 
Oh, yeah, ice cream. I want ice cream, dog. Ice cream always slaps, especially during summer. It's not summer yet, but it does feel like it when you live in the desert. Anyways. Oh, no, 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 you could stay. Wait, wait. You can't just cook all of this and then immediately leave. Never mind all of that. You made us dinner, didn't you? We should eat it together. She left now. This reason she went to search and effort to make was bound to leave a bad aftertaste in my mouth. Yeah, that is kind of messed up. Just, oh, hey, food. Great. Awesome. Leave my room. Like, that's, that's pretty cold, man. We decided to have just dinner together. After we washed our hands. Minachan! The three of us ended up having dinner together. We have breakfast every day. Dinner's just on days Minachan feels like it. <laughs> right, right. So, the real question now is, who's the real nag here? Mina or Ellen? Honestly, I'm leaning more than Mina's side. She's always on our, you know what, for no reason. I straightened my back and faced the table. Mina-chan could be a bit of a nag, but she was doing it for my benefit. <laughs> Are we really though? I mean, I guess if he was so opposed to it, he would have said something right. They gotta get rid of that term, commoner. It sounds kind of racist. Sorry. I was feeling so self conscious that I wasn't minding my manners. After all, Edison, your cooking came out great. This tastes amazing. Stew, bread, and salad certainly made for a simple combination. Even though Edison's salad was lightly seasoned with salt, it had a very intricate aroma thanks to the healthy amount of herbs, and I was confident I could scarf it down with little effort. The bread was about what you'd expect, but the stew was delicious and made for the perfect side dish. Yeah, the stew itself was incredible. The potatoes are nice and soft. They have a great flavor and they are practically melting in my mouth. Dog, can you shut up? God, trying to compliment our girl. Now that's so very little manners of you. Even Mina-chan with a refined palate seemed to approve. Yeah, that just does everything, dude. That's crazy. As rough as her circumstances may have been, her cooking was nothing short of divine. Ha, <laughs> it's so good, Elisan. You'll make a great wife someday. One day, even if you become a comfortably plump mother or the sort of old, be spectacled granny that lives out of a house practically carved from a pumpkin. <laughs> Your stomach's do every night and your grandkids will love you for it. <laughs> that was pretty wild. <laughs> Instagram family? Mm -hmm. The three of us shared dinner in an unexpected form. It was fun and the food was nothing short of delicious. After we finished eating, we wound up relaxing and enjoying each other's company. Let's set some ground rules while Sylvie's not here. How far should we take this pretend lovers there? This was the perfect time to discuss the finer details of our relationship. Relationship? Now that Sylvie and Reyna, who were the two biggest... I think my voice almost cracked there. I think it did. Oh no. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Who <laughs> were the two biggest troublemakers we knew? We're out of the mix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm yawning. I thought you were done talking, my bad. Shut up. Okay, I'm yawning because I'm tired, not because I'm bored. I wake up mad early. Yes, ma'am. I agree. That much should be fine. We wanted people to talk and spread rumors about us, as that should help prevent people from taking candid photos of Ellison. However, we'd only provoke their curiosity further if we forced it down people's throats, so we needed to show some level of restraint. We will act friendly, but just enough that nobody is entirely sure how close we are until competition day. How does that sound? Yeah. I like to think we were friends, but we weren't especially close. After what had happened on our first date, back when Sylvie's imagination got the best of her, I wouldn't exactly think things had gone well for us. That was a good episode, the date one. I think it was episode nine. I don't know, somewhere around there. Very early on. We were closer now than we were back then, though. Mm hmm. Better make that our objective going forward. Will this pose any problems for Sodalids? Sylvie tended to ignore anything so political, so I'd ask the calmer princess her opinion. Mina chan thought for a moment. <laughs> あなたがフェンシングに入れ込むということはお姉様の敬語はすでに調整しておりますわねもちろんですならば私から言うことはありませんわ静明及び学団派はあなたの石竹騎士員派の恋愛事情にはなんだかんよいたしませんそう、so basically she's saying you could bone if you want to Alright, got it ha. That was a pretty exaggerated way of getting permission Would any complications arise from her family if a knight like Edison found a boyfriend? Talk about a huge pain. Okay, well, we'll assume there are no problems. I will, other son. Please do so, calmer princess. What? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, she has a point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but dropping honorifics with Ellison. Aren't you the one that said Oni-chan like an episode or two ago? Freaking weird, huh? I hadn't realized how daring I'd been found around. I had been around the two of them, so Minochan certainly did raise a valid point. All right, could I do this? A, it feels wrong. <laughs> could I belt it out like I mean it? Um, calling her Chan would be weird. So, uh, yeah. Um, if we're boyfriend and girlfriend, anyway. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so fun. Oh, it feels wrong. It feels weird. I don't like it. <laughs> this is ridiculously embarrassing, huh? Even for me, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment here. Holy crap. And this is not even real. This is make believe, as some people would call it. Fiction. We were taking a step in the right direction with this pretend lover's act, and yet such a task would likely be more difficult than I had given it credit for. Oh, yup, yup, yup. It feels so weird. <laughs> feels mad weird. It's gonna take a bit to get used to that. <laughs> Morning. You're awfully chipper. I'll leave it to your imagination. I don't think it is. My plan was now in motion and we had made some steady progress. Nice. Hitched? We're not hitched. Just something similar. 
We were pretending to be lovers. We had made some concrete rules. From today until the day of our fencing competition, Ele and I would be lovers. You bring up her boobs a lot. Feeling self conscious or something? Huh? It's tough to tell through clothes these days, but the right bra really does make a world of a difference. Is our reina sound lacking in the booby department by any chance? <laughs> Out! She nailed me straight in the stomach. Oh. She kind of a dim way. What the? Nobody uses that. Uh, it's such a fun word. Dim way. <laughs> I think it's the first time I've seen her upset. I don't think we ever saw her upset once in, in her own route. Interesting. Goes to show we didn't see all sides of her just yet. Even though we did a route. Uh, I'm sorry. I hadn't anticipated being on the receiving end of Raina's terrifying outburst and immediately apologized. She definitely looks like the type that she'd be extremely spicy if, if you know, something went, uh, don't know. Uh, anyways, and immediately apologized. I don't think she is. Her tone gradually grew more and more serious. I would love to see, but this isn't the time or place. I don't think she does, dude. Yeah, she's the type of girl who eats and moves around a lot. She didn't eat as much as Sobi did, but Ella did eat often. Ella had earned her slender frame from an overly active lifestyle, which only further accentuated her bountiful breasts and cheeks. Uh-huh. You know what us is also a scam, at least in America? Car insurance. They do say Caucasians put on way easily, but she's a type where it all goes to her bitties instead of her stomach, huh? You're really sour about this, aren't you? Well, what do you know? <laughs> the usual two caught up with us. Ah, oh, yeah, the whole gang is here, Ella included. Nah, it's nothing. My eyes immediately wandered to her biddies, and I couldn't help but think, wow, they totally are huge. Time for a redo. I wanted to be a pleasant classmate there. Morning, Essa. Whoops. I guess we weren't just classmates. Morning, Ellen. Oh, oh, uh, hi. It's uh, oh, uh, <laughs> Still wasn't used to this and broken in this strange grin. <laughs> oh, shut up! Yeah, shut up, Reina. It wasn't as if I'd experienced something life-altering, but... Monaco, what are you doing? She's not wrong, she's not wrong. Rumors were spreading around class like wildfire. Oh, wait, I can't wait for those conversations with the boys. No comment. Yeah, you would think. Some of my peers teased me for it, but I generally ignored them by refusing to comment on the subject. And as an aside, the one thing that had surprised me was... Okay, maybe it's not racist, but it's definitely very discriminatory. What? You guys had crushes on Elsa? I mean, Ele? Oh, she's special. Already. Ah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> 
クルスクラウンさんと話しているときの慈しみの表情が印象的です。Very, very motherly. 優しくて、very. 温かくて、母性的と言うべきでしょうか。Maybe more motherly than Reina herself. 女性的かつ男性的。あんな人、他にいないよ。Mm, that is true. 彼女は僕の母親になってくれるかもしれなかった女性です。Mm, I don't know about that one though. But right. They were being pretty gross, but I knew she was extremely popular with the guys. What? I don't think she swings that way. Fencing club girl A. It went without saying that she was popular with the ladies, too. Nothing. Although our arrangement of being lovers was only temporary, it finally hit me. And it really was the ideal woman. I don't know, man. She's just missing the humor in the humor department. Just to be safe, we explained everything to the fencing club advisor. <laughs> yeah, it does sound very goofy. I agree. But you know what? If it gets the creeps away, maybe it isn't so goofy after all. I can't say it will stop them completely, but it should lower the chances of them being o g o l d O G L E D. I assumed reporters from the weekly tabloids might show up, but I doubted many would dare trespass on school grounds without permission. I didn't care if we were walking a tightrope or participating in the event without worry was what this was all about. Ed responded happily. Even if it had only been a couple of days, she'd still been out of the mix and was now bearing the gun. So, that's it. I'm going to go to the next one. Huh? I'm an amateur. No, no. Support your girl, make it more believable. I ended up being recruited for some reason. I'll just observe then. Given that I need to stick as closely to it as possible, I decided to accept her offer. With that, Ella went to get changed. What should I do? Maybe I could play around with a sword again? Whoa! The sword wielded girl. Wilding girl thrust at me. I narrowly dodged, but. <laughs> Ow! Got slashed. Who are you? Uh, one of Ella's underclassmen, right? I had seen them practicing together often. Not that I'd ever spoken to her, nor did I know her name. See the commoner thing again. Oh my. Oh, you guys are gay, gay. I'm all for it. Oh, that doesn't sound nice. Good thing we have a big betty girlfriend that could protect me. Whoa, I never could have imagined such a troublesome scenario. Every look directed at me from the girls in the dojo was filled with disgust and animosity. The genuine murderous intent I could sense in them was impressive and entirely unlike any of the looks I used to get in class or at the dorm. This could get ugly. Now they return from the change room. It's not like I'm going to spar with you or anything, Ella. Oh, yeah. That's sick. Let's do it. Hey yo, careful. What do you mean by that? Just for a little while, then. What could I do about this? <laughs> Nothing. Oh. <sighs> Ella and the rest of the representative team for the competition were busy honing their battle forms. In the meantime, I. 
Did you say Buddha? The fuck? <laughs> sure, sure. Have them teach me basic fencing ones. Like this? Swish, swish. Well? I didn't realize being with Ede meant having to fight an army of lesbians in fencing club. That's crazy. Not that I'm against them or anything, but that's just crazy. What does that mean? Although my teacher may have been unreasonable, I found fencing to be quite enjoyable. I was a guy, so I get plenty of enjoyment from swinging the sword around. As annoying, <laughs> what sword? As annoying as the harassment was, y'all swing your swords too in the toilet after taking a, you know, a, a leak. as annoying as the harassment was, they didn't pose any real threat. Obviously, getting hit in the eye or otherwise with fencing equipment would be bad, but it's not like any of them would actually seriously harm me. It was mostly verbal abuse, and I could easily ignore the trash talk. And as far as any stamina-related issues went. Decently, I guess. Oh, no, 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 tell her what you actually think, you, you freaking bum. Ella came by now and again to check on me, so that served as a much needed break. <laughs> That's fantastic. Do please acknowledge me some more, both mentally and physically. With that being said, hey, I've been curious for a while now. Aren't you second years? Are we not? All the girls surrounding me were second years. Why are you all Ella's underclassmen then? This club had a grade-based hierarchy, so the second years were all grouped together. Put another, Ella had been practicing with the third years all day. Ella was our classmate, so she should obviously be a second year. Huh? So you're older is what I'm hearing. Huh? Bukatsudova Shiai Toroku no Kanke de Gakunen de Naku Nende de Kumiralimas. Nano de Watashiwa Gakuen de Waninen desuga Koko de Wasanen se des. Who knew the situation was so complicated? Though, more importantly, she took a year off. Just so she could join Sylvia abroad? There were a bunch of questions I wanted to ask, but... Oh, uh, that's right. She did mention something like that before. Yeah. Couldn't ask her to elaborate while they were around. No choice but to wait until practice was over. Alrighty. I guess. <laughs> Practice ended and we headed outside. Yeah, I figured I'd stick around. <laughs> Ella seemed happy. Taking part in practice for a change seemed to have cheered her up. You really do love fencing, don't you, Ella? そうですね。将来に必要なものは実践格闘術なので、どちらかというと趣味の範囲に収まってしまいますが。Wait, I need to move the mask. Alright, cool. She meekly nodded her head. She didn't hesitate to call it fun. I greatly appreciated that about her. You would want to find some level of enjoyment in whatever you were doing, whether you were devoted to it or not. You could wind up not being able to tell whether you were genuinely enjoying it after all. How far were you planning on going with it? Until you graduate from Noble Academy? Oh, what's fencing like in Sword Lands? So, this is Nihon Yuriva, you say this. Tada, all she can do, Marie. Do you talk about this? Ne? Grand Suitaria no, Ashimotonimo, Yodimasen. 
could be the number one fencer in Sword Lodge if you devoted yourself to it. Ma, Tashkani Hongo Kudeva, Nakanakani Takai, Tisipode Aro Jifua, Yimas. Okay. That's great. Maybe I should get your autograph while I still have the chance. Huh? She gave that candid reply. As if it were the most obvious thing in the world. Alright. That sucks. I see. It's easy for her to say. It was acting as though she had no regrets whatsoever. There has to be something deep inside her, just like Mako, where they're like, man, I really wish I could do this. Like, they're literally just. They're really just what they do for the roles, man. That's sucky. <laughs> we want to see some more stuff. There has to be more extensions of them, you know? And with Mako, there definitely was, and I was not disappointed. It was such a waste, in my opinion. Ella was incredibly talented, and she could continue working to hone her craft. There were many people in her position who couldn't accomplish such a feat. Valid. Oh, yeah. I should be actually be asking you if you're okay with it. Ella tied along and we headed straight to my dorm room. Oh, yeah, it does. What? Ella looked like she'd scoot something up while in the middle of preparing our meal. Hmm? Did you forget to bring a piece of cooking equipment or something? Oh, yeah. She planned on making me dinner ever since this morning? No, don't make me blush! What? Oh, you stinky girl. Ah, as you might expect from a rich school like Novel Academy, each club had a luxurious setup with their own private showering suits. Suites? Suits? Well, suites? Instead of a generic shower. There were three showers each suite. Sweet! I guess they sweet. Which often led to overcrowding. Ella had been in a rush, where she'd keep me waiting, and had skipped out on the shower entirely. But I just used mine. She worked her butt off today at practice, so it would make sense that she would be incredibly sweaty. And then she went without a shower. Interesting. I wonder where uh, this is gonna go. Uh, sorry. Part of me wanted to tell her, don't worry, your sweat actually smells nice, but I wasn't a pervert, so I gave up on that idea. <laughs> You're welcome to shower here. You can trust me not to peek. If you'd prefer, I could go hang out in the foyer. The towels are under the sink. Bro, what am I supposed to do? The meal was at a safe point to step away for a moment, so I left the stew on a low heat and headed for the bathroom. Nice, nice, nice. Something's gonna happen, uh huh, come on. Uh -huh. This was fine, seriously. I could hear the shower, but I wasn't thinking about it at all, nope. The sound of the running water was more than enough proof that a very naked Ella was only a few steps away from me. But it didn't mean a thing to me. I was calm. A naked Ella. <laughs> what? C calm and collected. Calm and collected. God dang. Ooh. I like her hair, Dan. She looks really nice. Bangs suit her well. Okay. Bro's probably gonna sniff it later. <laughs> Don't leave it. <laughs> Don't leave it. No, no. Go ahead and leave it when the uh, that in the washing machine. She tossed it into my washing machine. We got hold of Ella's damp towel, the same one she'd used to wipe down from her shower. 
This very towel had <laughs> crept across her wet, naked body. No, I needed to wash it with the rest of the dirty laundry and be done with it. <sighs> Ella always kept her hair tied up. But that ordinarily pristine hair was now down, swaying the and from. Fro? You mean from? Huh. This is what she was like. Wow. She lifted the lid and examined the pot's contents, which had been left to simmer for the last 15 minutes. It's been that long. The set of well-cooked seafood suddenly filled the room. Something wrong? Tell her to stop worrying right now. Mm. Bought her a new towel. She didn't seem like she could step away from cooking, so... Clench. Does this work? Does this work? Help dry Alice's hair while she finished preparing our dinner. Man, I couldn't believe I was casually touching her like this. No, this much should be fine. We were boyfriend and girlfriend, oh no. Starting to believe it now or something. Gently combed my fingers through her long tresses and tried my best not to tug. I see. Now that Ellie's hands were free, I gingerly led her to my bed. Why? And continued to dry her hair. Maybe there wasn't any need for me to do this now that her hands were free. Oh well, should be fine. It wasn't as if I was doing anything bad. I wasn't, but... <laughs> We continue to maintain physical contact on my bed. Oh my god. Nothing more and nothing less. It didn't hurt? I see. I see, he said. Interesting. It had been a week since I'd become lovers with Ellie. Now that the initial shock had died down, the others had started to treat our relationship as if it were only normal. From what we saw on Twister, twi Twitter, Twister, word had begun to spread of Ellie's new relationship and the peep shots had all but stopped. We couldn't let our guard down yet, but it was probably safe to assume we'd achieved our first goal. Nice. As for fencing, it was going fantastically. That obviously went for Ellie, but her spiritedness, spiritedness spurred the other members' enthusiasm in kind. From what I'd heard, their stellar performance had made it difficult to choose who would participate in the composition, and their advisor cried out with delight from the sidelines. As for me, that's not very nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that means I can't lose. Ah! Whoosh. Clan. Um, what do the rules say you should do when you knock your opponent's weapons away? I can't believe how spicy you are. That's crazy. It's been a whole week. Sure, sure. This was getting relatively easier. Nice. Common W. Law had changed recently. Mm -hmm. Hey. She said, yeah. It's been a while, huh? Yeah. Since I'm dead together. Huh? Why not? Her cool head of nature made me feel kind of alienated. Surely you could tell me that it was a, it wasn't especially awkward between us. Just that we'd had fewer opportunities to meet up and hang out. It didn't have to be that way, come on. That was mostly due to my spending so much time with Ellie lately. Why don't we head back? Nice, very nice. Another moment, nice. Having to stop by on the way home had also become routine. I wonder what we're having today. 
あまり期待されても困りますが。バイベーコンを燻製にしておいたのです。バコン。バイコン。おう、スモークド。エクザティック。あとはシシャモモ。日本ではシシャモはおかずだそうですので、白米と一緒に食べましょう。Sounds great. Never had smoked シシャモ before. Seems fishy to me though. シシャモ is more like an appetizer than a side dish. シシャモが魚なのは言うまでもないのでは<笑> ?Our conversation remained light and breezy all the way home. And? では、シャワーかりますね。Sure. Her bathing at my place had also become part of my routine. Dang, in one week, they've gotten this comfortable already? That's pretty crazy. It was because of Ella's presence that we'd added a new appliance to the dorm. Specifically, a blow dryer. Never owned such a trendy gadget before, but I bought the one Raina picked out for me. It was on s o r l i d g e s dime, though. The overall style of her hair dryer seemed more appropriate for a woman, but I didn't especially mind it. Given that it would primarily be used by a woman. Yeah. Ella had gotten into the habit of taking a shower here. And at this point, she'd gone as far as to bring a change of clothes with her. And. Make yourself comfortable over here then. Eh? We needed to fry the smoked bacon first before we could eat dinner, but we had a few minutes before that was necessary. Time to dry her hair. <whistles> Even though Ellie honestly could have done this on her own, literally, neither of us brought it up. Both of us had fun doing it and would come to an unspoken understanding. A sweet fragrance wafted from Ellie's clean body and the wind from the dryer's center whirling into the air. As such, her golden hair flowed friendly behind her. Her hair had an almost silk like quality as I brushed my fingers through it. Your hair really is beautiful. So, this is the first time I've been in the last few months. 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 As because I'm doing it as much as I can on a technical level, I made sure to do some level of research to prevent her hair from getting damaged. Bro, even did research for her hair, bro. <laughs> Boy, that was crazy. <laughs> それに何より<笑>気持ちいいオーロの指はとても気持ちがいいです。セミュー、touching at his hair felt wonderful。How should I put this? Our time together felt rich. It was just the two of us. Was it because we were pretending to be boyfriend and girlfriend? Oh, look, the timer went off. But we're gonna ignore it for now. At least until this bit is over. Hopefully soon. And hopefully not soon. Hmm. I wasn't sure. Besides, for today. Alright, we didn't invite you. Welcome. We couldn't be alone forever. This was the day Mina Chan would come over to eat. Decided to call it good now that her hair was dry and he didn't. Bro, she put it up already? What the heck? And braided it? What the freak? Alright. It was all the embarrassing to be completely alone with Ellis, so having Mina Chan come over once in a while helped us out a better turn. Honestly, I'm not gonna cap. I never thought, I never thought these two, like, obviously, we knew that it would happen eventually because it's a visual novel of this kind, but I just never pictured them being good together. Now that I think about it, I'm like, you know what? They actually do not make a bad pair at all. A bad item. They make a good item, as, as they call it. And I'm actually not against it. Oh boy. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to. I have a feeling I'm gonna have a tough choice at the very end of this series. Being like, okay, which route was actually the best for me? It's just, all of them are pretty great. So far. Anyways, namely because we could say we weren't having dinner alone together, but rather, we're only alone since Mina chan couldn't make it. Was I being too self conscious? Probably. <laughs> Sure. Mina chan brought something along to contribute to dinner in her own way. Omiyotsuke? What is that? Omiyotsuke? Same. Miso soup. What great timing. Going with Japanese steamed dishes had pounded out well today. Nice. Nice. 
味噌スープのことをおみをつけというのですか知りませんでした<笑>漢字で書くとすごいんですのよおみをつけ,おみをつけ最初冗談かと思いましたわ、うん、That's surprising trivia even for Japanese people Open the lid A wonderfully tranquil aroma wafted out one The smell Red miso soup? 赤七白さんですこの配合がベストだと教わりましたわだしはカツオと昆布を交代後具にはネギとお揚げお豆腐も欲しかったですけど残念ながらこの料理は手に入りませんでした That sounds so fire! Give me some of that! I don't even know what a lot of these ingredients are but heck, I wanna try it Didn't sound like she could get that much of an assortment through delivery Pretty outstanding though Her obsession and what with the broth and miso that was Even the majority of Japanese people got by with an instant these days It sure has been ages since I've had miso soup. Thank you for the meal. We promptly took our seats and put on, put our, our hands together. First, the miso soup slurp noises. <sighs> This is my impression. You don't compliment miso soup with a hearty, delicious, a good, ah, <sighs> is the most impressive. <laughs> Russian meal soup we can get. Oh, 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 I moved along to the side dishes that I made, specifically the stir fry of smoked bacon and spinach. Oomph, oomph noises. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> smoked food really is nice on occasion. It's amazing how much better it tastes, too.、Yeah. Whoa, the shisha mo and eggs are outstanding. I forgot her name's Iroina. They have too many. Wow. You're awesome, Ellie. You can tell that the fish is really high quality. Bro, she's buying and cooking. You gotta buy it at least. What are you doing? Ah,、oh, heck nah. Even Mina has, has realized already. Even Mina has realized already that she's like, hey, yo. These two are actually like not pretending as much, or it doesn't feel like they're pretending anymore. What's going on? Look at her face. That looks like face of concern. Wow. <laughs> He sure is. Or、well, our main characters happen to be dense as heck. It's a little far, but there's a gigantic marketplace where you can get fish wholesale at Hamamatsu Lake. Why don't we go there next time? Knowing you, I'm sure you'll spot something fantastic. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Right, Mina chan? <laughs> huh? I wonder why she upgraded or downgraded me? Of course. We shared another lovely dinner together. Hmm. Alright. Thanks a bunch for the meal. We cleaned up the remnants of our dinner. It was around 8 o'clock when Mina chan returned to her dorm room, leaving Ella and me alone. Um, did we have any homework or anything today? Look, look at her, the way she's speaking to him, and look at her face. It ain't Ella like anymore. Or Ella san anymore. Uh, well, I'm all set on that. Time seemed to slow down the craw. Normally, she would start getting ready to go home around this time of night. After all, she hadn't given up her role as Sylvie's attendant and she needed to get back to her professional responsibilities. However, I heard Sylvie was visiting some sick patient at the hospital as part of her princessly duties today. Other members of the Imperial Knights were assigned to Sylvie's bodyguards and that left Ella to do as she wished during that time. As such, that meant she could stay here longer. I wouldn't have minded if she decided to go home. She remained planted in place and didn't get up to leave. 
I wasn't about to rush her out of the door either. Do you want her out of here or something? What's going on? Not because I had anything I wanted to talk about. Heck, i had been hard pressed to come up with any topics of discussion for a while now. Even so, silence didn't feel awkward in the slightest. In fact, I'd love it if this comfortable silence continued. But... God dang. These women all know how to knock. Minachan, who had left half an hour ago, rushed away. あなた、お姉様のご縁の引き継ぎ、エキスナにやっておくよう任せましたでしょ。あ、はい。それが何か。エキスナが旧来の基地帯配分で調整したせいで、何人か私とお姉様で十字がブッキングしてますわ。さっ